When I was younger, we always had catalogs from companies like Sportsman's Guide in the bathroom. The significance of this detail will be revealed later on. Carnage Road, 2000, directed by Massimiliano Cerci, starring Dean Paul, Molinae Dawn, and Sean Wing. A group of college students head into the desert to take photographs, where they are terrorized and picked off one by one by a machete-wielding maniac. I initially assumed that this film was made by a group of friends with a handicap. The fact that this is the fifth film this director has made in the period of seven years is disturbing. There is nudity one minute into the film. I can't tell if there was actual dialogue or if everything was ad-libbed. Neither is a good thing because the dialogue is awful. The acting is porn caliber bad. I'm not saying porn stars can't act, but I wasn't surprised to find that a number of other people in this film have actual porn in their filmographies. The quilt face disappoints as a slasher movie character. He isn't portrayed particularly menacingly, and his backstory isn't anything you haven't heard a hundred times before. Even the gore in this film is bad. It's obvious they only had a single sunken machete prop to work with, as well as some Halloween aisle of your local grocery store body parts, and like a single one ounce tube of stage blood which is used beyond sparingly. Apparently, a machete to the head isn't a fatal wound in this film. A main character appears to die on screen only to come back for the final 20 minutes with seemingly no issues. And now for a revelation of those catalogs I previously mentioned. I found this film after doing a Google search for one of the Halloween masks that I remembered constantly seeing in that catalog when I was little. A director used the Halloween mask in a slasher flick but this film won't be considered a classic anytime soon. Verdict, thumbs down. With absolutely no redeeming qualities to think of, I'm afraid we should have left this one on the side of the road. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.